Imagine this, you're a content creator who's been through the ringer. You have a kid, a wife, and most of your days is spent making shitty YouTube videos for a dying viewer base. This is the state Onision's channel is in right now. Or used to be at least. In today's episode, we'll be talking about someone very special, and in any way, shape, or form, should be disrespected. Yes, we'll be talking about the individual known as Onision today. So, before I blow my brains out from all the cancer I'm about to consume, we're gonna have to start from the beginning. So sit back, and let me ask this question. Who is Onision? <laughs> I know I Gregory James Daniel was born on November 11, 1985 in Auburn, Washington. As a child, Gregory was described by his father Randy Daniel as happy-go-lucky and introverted, who found solace in the world of computers. Eventually, Greg changed his name to James Jackson and gained wide name recognition under his online pseudonym Onision. On January 29, 2006, Onision established his YouTube channel, but it wasn't until October 2007 that he began uploading content. This is an example of what the Darth Vader helmet will sound like. Throughout his online career, Onision managed various channels, each with its own focus. His main channel, Onision, focused on skits, while Uh Oh Bro would cater to commentary oriented content and his Onision Speaks served at his vlog platform. Among his notable content is the 2009 video called Banana Song, which has amassed over 93 million views since the making of this video, and propelled Onision's subscriber count to over 2 million. What, Greg? I'm a banana! You're a what? I'm a banana! What happened to your clothes? I'M A BANANA! Onision also maintained a series wherein he raided bodies and body types in what seemed like a massively dated Howard Stern sketch, where half the timeliness and none of the charm. The photographs he used for the evaluations were submitted by fans through his forum, some of whom were later to be confirmed to be underage. In these videos, Onision would pass judgments on their appearance, rate their desirability, and assign them a numerical score from 1 to 10. Sadly, his young fans, yearning for validation from their beloved creator, willingly participated. Curse. Or as some call it, Shrek body. Hey, at least you have boobs unlike Shrek body. Oh my god, can't keep my dick in my pants. Throughout his career, Onision has collaborated with the likes of Shane Dawson, Social Repose, and Andy Bursak, the lead singer of Blackville Brides. In 2010, he was named by Tube Filters as one of the five YouTubers on their way up. Onision was growing at an accelerated rate, on his way to becoming one of YouTube's biggest stars. So, what the fuck happened? Throughout the early years, Onision posted content with his wife at the time, Sky Tantaga. He then publicized the divorce and ensuing fallout. Only a few months later, Onision would start a new relationship and began posting regularly with his at-the-time girlfriend Shiloh Hoganson, who was originally a Canadian pop star and was considerably younger than him not even being 18 when they first connected online. As the years passed, Onision experienced considerable success, amassing substantial wealth and a significant fan base. His numerous channels attracted billions of views, offering an intimate glimpse into his daily life and the lives of those around him, which seemingly embodies the quintessential vlogger's dream, except Onision's story would take a very dark, disturbing turn. One of Onision's first scandals involved a video titled Shiloh Forgot Me, where in the video, Shiloh experiences severe memory loss. Why aren't you looking at the camera? In this video, instead of seeking immediate help for Shiloh, Onision chose to record the distressing event and share it publicly for all his viewers to see. It is a very hard video to watch, let alone sit through. Having to witness a young girl lying on the cold shower floor, trembling, speaking incoherently, and unable to recognize her surroundings. It takes a special kind of scum to exploit a vulnerable young woman by uploading a video showcasing her during such a crisis. Following their highly publicized breakup, Onision and Shiloh's relationship unraveled, accompanied by allegations of infidelity 
rumors of pregnancy, and even insinuations of being pursued by the Canadian Mafia. You know what? No, you're gonna listen to me. You're gonna listen to me because you're never gonna see me again. So once in your life, you're going to listen to me. Okay? Look at me. Look at me, Greg. I don't care if you record me, you're gonna listen to me. I'm going to seriously tell everybody what you've done to me. Shiloh was just one of many women in the Onision circle who would come forward after their relationship ended. These allegations consisted of emotional and psychological abuse inflicted by Onision. Onision's spouse, formerly known as Lainey, and now goes by Kai, was only 17 years old when they first encountered Onision, who was 26 at the time. Kai had been a fan of Onision prior to their interactions. In a video released by Onision himself, he openly admitted that their relationship began when Kai was a minor. From day one, he's criticized my age gap with my wife, just nine years. Same age gap that the girl from the Disney movie Tangled had with her boyfriend. In the video, he disclosed that he traveled to a different state where the age of consent was below 18, allowing him to engage in intimacy with Kai without legal consequences. Onision proudly recounts that, quote, Mr. Grump, who I assume to be Lainey's father, disapproved of the relationship and, according to Onision, threatened him. Throughout his romantic life, Onision persisted with this concerning pattern, which leads us to a discussion about Onision's next victim. Billy Don Ingle, who was only 18 years old, became involved in Thrupal with Kai on Onision. Billy came forward with allegations of harassment during her time living with Onision and his now husband, Kai. According to Billy, Onision pressured Kai to involve her into their relationship. Billy further claims that after confessing to smoking marijuana against Onision's wishes, he devised of controlling punishments for her. Screenshots of alleged communications revealed a list of punishments for a disobedience. These requests included being chained to the basement and getting a tramp stamp saying, I'm a liar, among other weird disturbing shit. Billy stated that, quote, Onision likes to destroy people's lives. In response, Onision retaliated by doxing her. Onision posted, tweeting out text conversations which included Billy's phone number. This action led to his ban from the platform at the time, and subsequent backlash. Another individual named Sarah, who is also a fan of both Onision and Kai, developed a close online relationship with Kai when she was merely 14 years old. By the age of 15, Sarah engaged in romantic conversations with Onision, often involving explicit jokes and comments of a sexual nature. With Kai assuming the role of her power of attorney, it was during this period where she alleges being subject to grooming. Sarah claims that as soon as she turned 18, Onision and Kai engaged in sexual activities with her, a statement that Onision confirmed in one of his erratic meltdown videos. So we slept with her. Uh, well, uh, that's... No, I slept with her and she uh, performed oral on Kai. Um, Kai can't say was 100% on board. I was uh, more on board than Kai. I, I actually slept with Sarah like 100%. Um. In 2019, the accusations against Onision and Kai reached new heights when Chris Hansen from To Catch a Predator picked up the story. Hansen and his team conducted interviews with several victims, including Sarah, Shiloh, and Billy. The events that unfolded were captured on a Discovery Plus documentary titled Onision in real life. While the documentary faced scrutiny regarding Hansen's true intentions in exposing the story, as well as notable incidents like Onision mistakenly suing the wrong Chris Hansen for internet stalking, it did succeed in bringing awareness of Onision's misconduct to a much broader audience. Additionally, four other women have came forward with allegations of physical and sexual assault against Onision. Some of the stories have common threads, claiming that Onision and his husband Kai solicited them via social media, sometimes while they were underage. During Onision's peak popularity, many observed the turbulent disputes between Onision and these girls. Unfortunately, they were often labeled as liars, forcing them to defend themselves and, or worse, 
share their own traumatic experiences. To make things worse, Onision has two children still in their custody. Their daughter, who was around 3 or 4 at the time, fell out of a window of the second floor of their house and had to crawl to the garage door and tap on it for help. She sustained severe head injury, likely to do from neglectful parenting, and instead of comforting his child, Onision filmed the whole incident while waiting on the ambulance. A deeper exploration into this disturbing history shows a pattern of a man who, if these allegations are true, has managed to evade accountability. So where is Onisia now? Well, in 2021, his channel was demonetized, and as of 2023, a federal lawsuit was filed against Kai, Onision, and YouTube. Onision and Kai are being sued for a list of crimes, including, but not limited to, trafficking charges, possession of explicit child content, enticement, sex trafficking, and personal injuries. As of social medias, Onision's last upload as of the making of this video was five months ago. He has been inactive on all his platforms, Twitter, Instagram, you name it. And from what I see, it's not going to come back for a while since all his focus seems to be on the federal lawsuit. I think it fits for me to some of my final thoughts on the situation. And what may those thoughts you may be asking? Hmm. Ayo, fuck Onision, don't let him back on YouTube, fuck him. Blimey, dude.